So why do we need to know Christ before the manger? I'll give you four answers real quick. The first one, if Christ was not God before his human birth in Judea, then he was not God afterward. It would just be a concocted story. Forget about it. Are we here? It is not worth your attention. Two, you know, some of the profound doctrines of our faith, Christianity, it hinges on uh, salvation and, and the resurrection of and the glorification of what Christ. You can't take one without the other. Salvation has to do with the birth of Christ, the coming. And I know there is more, but you can't take one without what the other. The third point, Jeremiah 9, 24. The Bible said about let him who glories, glory in this, that he understands and knows me, that I am the Lord. It says that if anyone wants to boast in anything, it's not in your uh, uh, Tesla, it's not in your Rolls Royce, it's not in your bank account, it's not in your ships or your jets, it is that you know God. So let's break this down. If you claim you are going to heaven, don't you think it's important that you get to know the person you are going to live with forever? Don't you think it's important for you to know your president, your king? And the last point, why is it important to know Christ before what? The manger. Can I let you in on a little secret? PIWC, can you take this? So the more of the knowledge of Christ you know, the more closer you get to him. And it will be so, just be like that in heaven too. Even as human as we are, would you just let anybody just enter your bedroom? No. And somebody said, if there is Zongo in heaven, it's okay, I like it. <laughs> but no, we, we don't just want to be in the project. You want to be close to, you know, you want to work with him. But you need a certain type of knowledge. You see, right now that Joe Biden, they are already teaching him protocols, security protocols. There are certain things you as an individual, you would never know until you get what? Close. There are secrets and mysteries in this kingdom. If you are not matured, you will never. It is what it is. The, the, the daughters of Obama, they know some things. You, if you don't get to that where they are, you will never know. Are we here? And so a test like Acts 20.32. So now, brethren, I commend you to God and the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance among all those who are sanctified. It will be like we are singing him. This test will never make sense to you until you mature, until you grow, to know that there are actually inheritances in what? In Christ. I, some people, some Christians have no idea. All they've been taught is church. They, ha they, they, they don't have the kingdom mindset and how things operate in this kingdom. They are far, even though they are Christians. See, just as men are promoted here on earth, spiritually, so you can be promoted. Are we here? New angels can be assigned to you. Can we grow? As you grow, the angels who used to work with you 15 years ago, they can change hands based on the assignment that you are now what? operating in. These are not fables. This is the word of God. Revelation 1, 1 says that the revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave to him to show to his servant the things that must soon or shortly take place. He sent it and signified it by his angel to John. So it means God can give you something and angels are there to testify that this gift, this grace, this anointing was given to this person at this time. So when he speaks, they have to back it because what? They witness that ordination. Are we here? Yes. We need to mature in Christ. I'm talking kingdom. We need to mature in Christ. In your Bible, Paul says that I know a man who was caught up into heaven. Some people are summoned in heaven. They are men just like you. 